So, last time I did stand-up, my setups took way too long. I also realized I mumble a lot. So, this entire set, I'm just gonna practice my delivery of telling jokes straight, one after another. Also, I thought it'd be a good idea if everything was just basically all obscure art politics. So if you're into that, this is only for you. Only for you. Okay, so, uh... <clears throat> I just crawled out of David Hammond's homeless encampment for whatever that's housed or worth. are pressuring artists to have sex with them in order to have art shows. Yeah, this is fucked up. Because I've had sex with every single curator and I haven't had a single show. <laughs> I, already, I already have the artwork for these shows. It's gonna be uh, large blown up images of my text messages to Andrea Bowers. I, I asked Richard Prince about that. And he's like, would, would that be in bad taste? And he's like, post it on Instagram and I'll let you know. And I was like, oh, I'm on to you. I'm already in a lawsuit with Jeff Koons, Doug Christmas, and Danny First. Whoa. Oh, Jeff! Curators are pressuring artists to have sex with them in order to have art shows. I've been laying low, keeping to some smaller alternative art spaces, like Joan, Pauline, Jenny's, and you can tell who they're catering to. Basically, fancy white ladies, because you know you can't have a gallery called Shenane, because you know, what? Black people don't buy art. What? Well, actually, sorry. <laughs> it's actually a gallery that a bunch of white people started in Paris. Really? That's a real thing. Yeah, that's awkward. Okay. L.A. does have the weirdest art gallery names: Moran Moran, Chateau Chateau, Ashes Ashes, P S S S T. Yeah, those, those last two, those, those are actually closed, which means they should have changed their names. Some galleries think there's such hot shit trying to be obscure, you can't Google them. Metro PCS, adjunct positions, human resources, actual size, public storage, LA, materials and applications, Commonwealth and Council, Cloud and Man. Those are all real names. How would you ever find them? No one wants you to go to their art shows. And the rest, they're just onomatopoeia. Cluey, K Chung, Ooga Booga, Dank, Laxart, Laka, Lakma, Lamoa, and then there's Steve Turner. Who would name their gallery that? Someone should have warned them. You want to saw art? Don't name it Steve Turner. <laughs> All right, Chuck Close, Terry Richardson, and Jens Hoffman are sitting in a bar. That is the last thing I remember before waking up naked with a headache behind Mocha Geffen. Hans Oliver Goldberg discovered my body. I mean, he discovered me. Shh. What happens at Salmon Creek Farm stays at Salmon Creek Farm. I've got some good news. I think I've made it as a visual artist. I didn't get a real horror man, but I was contacted by Voyage LA. Has anyone been contacted by Voyage LA to interview yourself? Yeah. Uh, the one thing that's a little weird though, they wanted me to send them shots of me giving head. What? Yeah. I've got some good news. I think I've made it as a visual artist. <laughs> ran into John Balasari the other day. He's really tall. I ran into him as hard as I could. He didn't move at all. Um, you know who else is tall? Mark Bradford. Mark Bradford makes so much money that his Mexican laborers have Mexican laborers. They're the ones who collect all the missing posters, uh, missing person posters that he pastes into his artwork. Yeah, but it's, it's not like the Chinese labor that Kahinda Wiley uses, which is an interesting ah, switch, sorry, considering <laughs> artists like Ai Weiwei are coming to the U.S. looking to save money. He had to be his own stunt double playing a drowned refugee. Yeah, Sam Duran, he takes the high horse. He only uses original native people for proper source material. Cal Arts, no stranger to controversy. Students are always protesting the high cost of tuition, but the school still needs more money because USC just fired all their teachers again, or they quit, so CalArts now wants some of them to teach full-time, part-time. Helen Molesworth, she's been doing a tell-all to her CalArts students. It's a little bit awkward, it's a little awkward on the Andrea Frazier cringy side when you use students like a therapist. Uh, they thought something was up when their syllabi still had Michael Ned Holte's name on it. Someone wanted me to do a Danish Schutz joke. 
I don't do dead baby jokes. <laughs> you guys don't know that controversy? Okay, that's awkward. That last joke was so bad, I signed a petition against it. Yeah, that'll work. Thank you guys. Ow! Oh. <laughs> CJ!